most important thing is change our diet. And our diet is high in starch and sugar, refined oils, it's full of additives, pesticides, herbicides, emulsifiers, thickeners, additives, sweeteners. I mean, it's a disaster and it's an inflammation causing mess. For example, Gluten is a huge inflammatory food in our diet because of the way we change our wheat production. People go to Europe and they don't react, but in America, the dwarf wheat has way more gluten proteins, way more starch and sugar, so it's way more inflammatory. Ideally, you can get a hold of heirloom gluten foods, farro and triticale and kemet and emmer wheat and einkorn wheat and zeo wheat. I mean, these may be better for you if you don't have celiac disease and they may not cause the same level of inflammation. Dairy is the other big one. And in my practice, I see it all the time. It creates congestion and digestive issues and allergies and acne and generalized inflammation. And then, of course, sugar. Sugar is a huge factor by its effect on laying down belly fat. Adipocytes, which are your fat cells, produce cytokines, these inflammatory molecules that rove around your body, creating basically a wildfire of inflammation. 